Once again, you're watching PJ Collection Clothing Online Class, and in this video, I'll be showing us how to make an Etsy ball. An Etsy ball is um, a traditional outfit popularly worn in the south south part of Nigeria. Like you can see it in Edo, River State, Akwaibom, Delta State, and Bayelsa State. You see the now, this is an example of an Etsy ball. What they are putting on here is an Etsy ball. You can either use your lace or your George fabric. To wear this this is also an etsy but now this is also one you can also use this and it comes with stud one beautiful thing about it is, it is you can either use a single stud or a three in one so this is three in one stud like what i have here we'll be learning how to fix this this is stored these are stored now we'll fix this to etsy but so we'll be learning how to make this now to begin with i'm working with these measurements now he is six years old. Remember, he's six years old. You can use this for an adult. It's just the the values that varies. Now, the shoulder is 12. The sleeve is 14. The round sleeve 10, 9, and 7. The armhole is 12. The neck 11. The body length 19. And the chest 22. Then the stomach is 24. In a situation whereby the stomach is bigger than the chest, we are using the stomach measurement. We are not using the chest now. The, we are doing a double placket, bishop collar, long sleeve with placket and a cuff. Remember, we are making this. Okay, so to begin with, I'm working with this white fabric. Now, the first thing we are cutting the front, you fold your fabric into two. Fold your fabric into two. And how do you know that your folding is okay? Divide your chest. Divide your chest by 4. So this person's chest we're using 24. 24 divided by 4 gives you 7 plus 1.5 or 2 inches sewing allowance gives you 9. So that is step 1 for the folding. Now, in making a t-ball too, the front part of your t-ball, there is a slit. Sorry, there is a pleat at the front part. There is a pleat. Then at the back, you also have a pleat. Take note. There is a pleat at the front part. Then at the back, you also have a pleat there. So you fold two inches. You fold two inches. Let's quickly see if we will see that. Now, if you take a look at this, if you zoom this, you see that um, pleat at the front part there. You see that open part there. You see it there. So that is a pleat. So you fold two inches for it. You are folding two inches for it. So from here down, we are now marking nine inches. Take note. So we now mark nine. So my fold in here, I have nine. Take note. Remember, we said chest divided by four plus two inches or plus one point five. Total nine. Take note. You fold this for the front pleat. All right. Having done that, we now begin. Now I mark my first line. This first line we are starting from right represents the neck point. It represents the neck point. Now the width of the line. The width of the neck for neck 11 i'll be using two inches take note two inches for neck 11 two inches i've already done the formula for this then the width we're using 1.5 take note two by 1.5 if you've done your math so now make a nice curve as shown now make a nice curve as shown all right now Remember, this automatically, this point here becomes your shoulder slant line. This becomes a shoulder slant line. Now apply a shoulder measurement at this second line. The shoulder is 12, so you mark plus half inch, you add. So you now connect this shoulder to the neck point. Take note. Now connect these two points down. Remember, you can use this for adults. We've already done the neck formula measurement so it's just for you to apply now the next line to take is the armhole line the armhole line for you to get your armhole line divide your armhole by two minus two or three take note to get your armhole line which is from this second line divide your armhole by two minus two the reason why we are removing two or three is because we have the back to cut we have the back to cut so now the armhole of this person the armhole of this person is 12. Armhole is 12. 12 divided by 2 gives you 6 minus 2 or 3. So this is 6. So moving backward by 2 or 3, 1, 2. So we're marking 3.5. Take note. So at this point, I will now mark my chest line. Right? 
So then, in the next thing I'll do, I'll now apply my chest measurement. Remember, your chest is divided by 4. So, 24, 24 divided, remember we said, in a situation whereby the chest is bigger than, I mean, the stomach is bigger than the chest, we are using the stomach measurement. The chest measurement is invalid. So, 24 divided by 4 gives you 6. So this is 6, we are marking. Then I'm adding extra 2 inches. Take note. You divide your chest by 4, then you add 2 inches. So you now make your armhole, for accuracy sake of this armhole, from this point, from the shoulder point there, you make a straight line down. Take a straight line. Then at the middle of this, you move down by half. Okay, remember we're doing a free. So you now connect this to form your arm hole. All right, so we're not through that point. The next thing is to take is the body length. Doing from here, down, down. The body length is 19. So this is 19. I'm marking at 19. Now, I'll be adding just 1 inches or 1.5 for the folding. So mark will add here. All right, so we now come this way from here. Down, down, down. Now, unlike your senator, remember if you want to make your, this part here will be squared, but in our earth ball, we have to make this point around this point, so we'll do it at the back. So this is how to cut the front panel. So I'll quickly cut while you watch. Okay. Okay, so we are through with the front. This is our front panel. Now to cut the back, you fold your fabric again into two. Fold your fabric again into two. Then you now fold your two inches again. Remember we said there is a pleat at the front and there is also a pleat at the back. So fold your two inches again. You now pick your front panel on top of this as shown. You pick this on top as shown. First thing first, watch carefully. Now you cut this point, take this shoulder slant together, cut this straight. Please make sure that you cut it down to the width. Alright, when you're true, you now push this. You push the front down by 3 inches or 2.5 for kids. Take note, 3 inches or 2.5 for kids. So we'll check this, alright. Now, we now fold this on top of the front, half inch. How do you know if your folding is okay? You mark half inch on top. Then you now fold this on top of this. Make sure half inch, alright. So now iron this neatly. Alright, now watch carefully. You now trace. You trace from here. Trace from here, from here. You stop there. Then you open this. The inner trace from here. All right, so you now close this back. Now, remember, our neck is 11. Okay, sorry, our neck is 12. Yes, 12. So we do a confirmation sake. Let's do this to check if it is up to 12. So this way, you put this way, put your tape this way, starting from here. Now, please pass this. This. All right, we have a five and a half. Okay, let's confirm our neck and see. Okay, the neck is 11. The neck is 11. So from here, from here, you pass your tape this way. Make sure you keep your tape this way. Confirmation of your neck if it is up to 11. All right, this is five and a half. So we are very okay. So the next thing you do, you trace the armhole. Trace your armhole down. Now, how do you know if you're okay? You also take note of your ch shoulder measurement plus your half inch. Shoulder is 12. That is divided by two six. All right, so you have this. So we are tracing it down. Tracing it down. Okay. Now you also trace the body down. We're tracing the body. We are through with that. Now we say the down part. Now watch carefully. The down part. It will be squared. It will to round be round in this form. To be round in this form. This form. This is how the down part will look like. All right, so we now have the back and front part. So quickly, the next thing I'll be showing us is how to cut the yoke. We need a front yoke and a back yoke. Okay, when you're through with your back and front panel, the next thing for us to cut are the yokes. Take note. Now, this is the back panel. Remember, your two inches are still on full. They are still on full. So 
Now I'll place this. I want to call the back yoke. I'll place this. You get the fabric one to use. Fold into two. Fold this into two. Then I'll place this as shown. So you now trace. Take note. This is the back yoke. So you now trace this. So I'll trace this. Trace the neck. Trace the the back. Then you trace the arm hole down. Now you stop at that point. Then I'll now remove this. I'll now remove this. Then now cut. How do you know if it is okay? Now you put from this point down five inch. The one inch is for folding. So I'll put my cloth gum or suit gum at the wrong side. Then I'll now fold. So this is our front. I mean back yoke. Now the front yoke. I'll quickly use this fabric. This contrasting fabric for our front yoke. We use this for our front yoke. Now the fabric is not enough, so we just want to use this. Just want to show us how to go about this. So now, this is my front yoke. This will go for the front yoke. Now the width I'm working with is eight. Then the length thirteen. So I also show. So quickly gum this. You gum this neatly. Quickly gum this neatly. Then you now fold this into two. Take note. Gum it neatly. Fold it into two. Then you fold everything back. What we need here at the end of the day should be like, um, let's say, let's say six and a half. We'll come to this later on too. So quickly put your cloth gum at the back. You gum it neatly. Now, the next thing is take, take note that now this is the back panel. Remember, we folded two inches, right? We folded two inches. So you turn this to the good side. Take note. We, it was at the wrong side, so you turn this to the good side. Then you now sew these two inches straight from here. Take note. We now sew these two inches straight. When you're through sewing, you now open this and you iron it down. You do now you now have a pleat at the back. Take note. This is the back. This is the good side. You now sew these two inches straight. When you're through, you now open this. It will now be in this form, and you iron this down neatly. Now the front panel, now the front panel, it will be the sewing will be. Remember, we also folded two inches for the front panel, right? So quickly sew this. You're sewing with a loose stitch. Take note, a loose stitch. So you sew from here, from here, the two inches down to the end. When you're through, we open this. It will now be open like this. So you open this. So let's do that now. All right. So the next thing now, I'm through with the sewing. Like I said, when you're through, you will sew these two in straight. You sew it with a loose stitch. Take note, I said that for the front, you're sewing it with a loose stitch. So when you're through, you iron this down. I show this is the front panel. Then I'll cut off from here because I don't need from this part. I don't need from here. So I'll cut this point off. Take note, the length that we just removed was seven inch. Take note from here. I don't need that part. Okay? So now, Okay, so now this is my front panel, the good part. Now, I also say you get your yoke, the fabric for the, I'm using this contrasting fabric so you to you see it clearly. Now, this is the front yoke. Now, the width, take what I said, you gum this all through. As I turn, I'm doing this video, there was no cloth gum or suit gum, but if you have your suit gum or cloth gum, if you have your cloth gum or suit gum, you gum all this. Then you fold both edges. Now the width of the folded fabric six and a half inch. Take note, six and a half inch. Then you place this at the middle. Take note. You place this at the middle. Take note. You place this at the middle. All right. So we have this. Now. So you place this as shown. Now, how do you know that this placing is okay? Now, from this point here, down. Take note from this neck point here, from here, down nine and a half inch. Take note, nine and a half inch. Because at this down part, we also place another yoke here. So now, what to do is this. We'll sew from here. Take note, we'll sew from here. We'll stop here. They will now come in. They will now sew this. They will now move out. Now, this gap here, you should leave at least four inches. That is where you put your pocket filler. You place your pocket filler at this. I take note, starting from here, you sew, you stop here, you go in, 
move down, then you shoot out, then you now sew this round. Take note. This pointer that we skip, that is where you pass your pocket filler. So let's do that now. Alright, so we are through with this stage. We are through fixing this. Then you have to cut off the neck point as shown. Now this is where we we'll pass our pocket filler here. Now we we'll keep this aside. Now the next thing is to prepare the various components used in making our etibo. Now we get let's start with the placket. Remember, etibo comes with a double placket. So let's get this fabric. Now this is your strong paper gum. The measurement for this paper gum is three quarter inch by ten. Take note three quarter inch by ten. Then the second Placket. Remember, we have three type of placket: double, single, and single store. Now, this is a double placket. Now, the second placket is one one quarter by by twelve. Take note. So let's start with the bigger one. How to gum this? Now, if you take a look, the shiny parts are the wrong side of your fabric. The shiny part. So you place this as shown. Then you now gum this. Just the same way you gum your placket. So you now gum this. Okay, so when you're through with this gumming, now you now fold this. Take note, you fold this, you fold this, you fold this part, half inch part. Then you now fold again. We are preparing our plaque, you now fold again. So you iron this neatly. So we now cut off this edge, cut off this edge, cut off this part. So keep this the size so. You do the same thing for this other placket as well, the smaller placket. So take note, the shiny part at the wrong side of a fabric, leaving at least half inch. You comb this down. Then you now fold this half inch part, fold this, you iron this down. Then you now fold again. This is smaller placket. All right, so we have this. So I will also show us how to fix this. So you keep this aside. Now the next thing is our sleeve placket. Remember, you also have sleeve placket, the one at your sleeve point where you fix your cuff. They are known as sleeve placket. Now, the measurements are one inch by seven. Take no one inch by seven. You can actually use one inch by five because you're making for a kid one inch by five. Okay, so do the same thing we did. So you also place this. Up the shiny part at the wrong side, leaving at least half inch, then you gum. So you gum this half inch down, you iron this down, then you now fold again, fold this. So, cut off the edge. So you do the same thing for the second placket as well. Okay. Now this is the cuff. We are through with the plackets. Now, these are the cuff the sleeve cuff. Now, the measurement for the sleeve cuff is seven. Now, the wrist of the boy is six and a half or six. Take note, the wrist here is six. So, the cuff you're to use will be seven. The extra, remember we said it's six. The extra half goes for the cufflinks. You're fixing, you're using the cufflinks or your button. Now, the width, we are using one three quarter. Take note, so this is seven by one three quarter inch. So, I also gum this at the, fa the wrong side of our fabric. We gum this. Okay, when you're true gumming, now you get your hemi gum. It's optional. In a situation whereby you don't have your hemi gum, when you're true gumming, you can gum, you can fold this half and you top stitch. Take note, this half inch part, when you're true gumming, now fold and top stitch. But in this situation, I'll be using my hemi gum to do that part so i'll not top stitch anymore okay when you're through with this gumming you now get your different fabric remember i want to use this for the back part of the cuff okay the sleeve cuff so i'll place this i'll play this so i'll now go to my sewing machine and so 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 you're not sewing this folded part take note you're only sewing this part take note you're sewing this part like this like this like this so i'll do that now all right so when you're through with the sewing you have this i've done the sewing round so i'm cutting off this edge i'm cutting off this edge 
So you watch carefully. I'm cutting off this edge. Take note, not the folded point. I'm also cutting off this part. Then I'm also cutting off this part. So we we'll turn this. Take note, this is the folded point. So we are turning this. So this will serve as our cuff. So you, you turn this and you iron it neatly. So this will go for our cuff. Right, in our next video, I'll be showing us how to sew now. We are through with the components. So now, this is our... Now, this is our front panel. So, we'll cut there. We'll put, we are fixing a slit at the middle of our front panel. Now, the depth of this slit should be... The depth of the slit, we are using 6 inches. So, at the end of the slit, you put a notch towards your left and a notch towards your right. Okay, this will enable us to fix our placket. So we now have this. Now, the smaller placket, remember we're fixing the two plackets here. We have the big placket and the smaller. Now, the smaller placket goes to, to my left. To my left. So I'll open this. It's open. Now, we saw this. Take note, this part, it has no paper gum. So we'll take this at the down. So we'll now sew from here and stop at the point of the notch. We we'll stop here. Then we we'll now turn. We we'll now turn this. When you get to this point, we we'll now turn this to the front. Then we we'll now top stitch. So let's do that now. Okay. So we are sewing the small placket towards the left. We are sewing the small placket towards the left. So we we'll stop at the. Okay. Stop there. Then we we'll now turn this. To the front, turn this to the front, then you not top stitch again to close this part. So, not top stitch. So, this is how to fix the small plackets. So, stop there and I cut off the excess. Then, the next I'll fix is the bigger placket. So the bigger placket so you open this again you're sewing okay so i'll be fixing the bigger placket so now the same thing we're starting from the wrong side so we sew again you open this the same way we'll fix the small placket we'll stop we'll stop there at the notch point then you now turn this to the good side so you turn this to the good side so now top stitch again so this is how to fix a small and big placket take note the placket should be at the middle of your top take note it should be at the middle so turn this then turn this Okay, so okay, so you stop there. Now where you're stopping is the should be at least four to five pins. So you're stopping there. Mm -hmm. So this is how to fix your big and small plackets. So you're removing the excess. All right. Okay. Now when you're through with that fixing, now the down part. If you take a look at it, but you also see another yoke. To cover this part because if you take a look you notice that this down part is rough so we need another yoke to cover this part so i'll quickly use this fabric so you gum with your either your cloth gum whatever gum you have there so you gum this so after gumming you cut off so fold this part you fold it okay so I'll keep mine in this shape. So I'll fold the edge this way. Folding the edge. Then you also fold also fold this part as well. Fold this part as well. Now the width the width here we're using two and a half inch by same length of your yoke. Take no so place this as shown.
take note that this part here should be in line with the center of your Etsy boss. So now iron this down. So now fold the edges, fold the edges neatly. Fold these edges. Okay, so when you're through with the folding, so you now sew this round. We now sew this round, this extra yoke attached at the down part. You can decide to shape. This is the shape I use, so you can decide to make whatever shape you want to. So we now sew this head round. So let's do that now. Okay, we are through with the front panel now. This is our back yoke. Remember, I said you sew the two inches and you now fold. Now, this is the back pleats. So, now this is the back panel, the wrong side facing you, back panel, wrong side. You now pick your front panel, the good side facing you, take note, front panel. Then you now pick your yoke, the yoke, this is the yoke, the wrong side facing you. Now, you also gum your yoke with your cloth gum or your hair gums, whichever gums you have, you gum it, then you fold the edges. Now, we join the three now, so we are joining the shoulder, the three shoulders together, half inch, so we are doing this with half inch. So we are doing this with half inch, the three together. So, Then you do the same thing for the other part as well. Pick the three, the back, the front, and the yoke, the three together. So you're sewing half inch. Not the same way you join your normal symmetrical wear. So okay, then when you're through with this, you now flip the Take me remember the yoke was facing, so we now flip the yoke to the back, to the back panel. So we are flipping this. So now, before you sew this back, before you sew this back, you top stitch the shoulder point. You are top stitching the shoulder point before you sew the back. Top stitch the shoulder point as shown, so the shoulder will be relaxed. That is the essence of this. Sorry. Okay, now when you're true with that, it is now time to sew the back yoke. Now we are sewing the back, remember the back yoke now, so we are sewing the back yoke now. The next thing after this is to join our sleeve, we are almost through. So we are joining the back yoke, joining the back yoke. Okay, so we are through with the fixing now. Quickly, we cut off this head neatly. You notice this, so you cut off this part neatly. So you do the same thing this other part, just trying to make sure these edges are neat. Okay, so we now have this. We now have this. Now you do your confirmation of your shoulder, your chest, everything. Now you do your con now the shoulder of this person is 12. So this is six plus half. Then you also confirm your chest. Okay, so we are having a little excess, so I'll reduce this. I'm trying to reduce this because it was much, so I'm reducing this. Please take note, before you cut off this part, you make sure you confirm to know if you're having excess before you do the cutting. Okay, so you also need to make sure that your neck is well round. If you take a look, this is the neck circumference so you just trim a little to make sure that you have your round neck before fixing your bishop collar. remember we're fixing our bishop collar now if you take a look at your senator so i quickly shape this a little to make sure that i have a well neck is neat so just trying to make sure everywhere is round before fixing my bishop collar Okay. All right. Now, if you take a look at your center, you also make sure that you have your exact shoulder plus your half inch sewing allowance. Okay. Now, if you take a look at your some senator, you notice that this part is squeezed or rumpled. Now, to avoid that, you make sure that you have the exact shoulder measurement and it is well slanted. One, two. You also need to make sure that you have your exact chest measurement. Take note. Then. You also need to make sure that your armhole 
is properly cut. Take note. Then lastly, the front parts of your senator or your table should be deeper than the back, at least half inch. So you can see there. I don't know if you can see. Good. So by so doing, you avoid that squeezed or rumple part. So at this stage, I'll be fixing as we so when I get this, when I get this, to cut your sleeve, I already showed us how to go about cutting our sleeve. So to cut your sleeve, you get your fabric that you want to use. At this stage, I'll be showing us how to cut the sleeve. Now to cut the sleeve, I'll be using this fabric to cut the sleeve. So you fold your fabric into two. Now, if you've watched my previous video, I said we have your outer sleeve and your inner sleeve. And the difference of these two sleeves is for children, we are using 2 to 2.5. So I'll quickly mark a straight line, which represents the outer part. Now, I'll mark the second line using 2 inches. Okay, let's use 2.5. So this second part here represents the inner sleeve. All right, now, how do you know that your folding is okay? How do you know that your folding is okay? Divide your armhole by two. So I'm using seven here. My fold in here, I'm using seven. The armhole is 12. This is 14. So we'll come to that. So half of seven, we have 3.5. So this is three. This is half of seven. Take This is half of seven. Then you make a line as shown. I already showed us how to go about this. Now, from here to here, you move up half inch, right? Then from here to here, you move down half inch. So you now connect this as shown. Watch carefully how to form the armhole. So this is your armhole. Now, we'll come to that now. Remember, we are fixing a cuff. We are fixing this cuff. Now, the width of this cuff we used was one and half inch. So you remove the 1.5. Take note, you remove the 1.5 for the cuff, then now take note of your sleeve length. Now the sleeve length of this person is 13, so you mark 13. Then you add half inch to join the cuff. Take note, for us to fix this cuff, we need half inch. So you add half inch. Then you now join another half inch, you add another half inch that will join the sleeve. So this is 13. So the first half inch goes to fix the cuff. Then the second half inch is to fix the sleeve. So now cut from here. So cut from here. Now, we we'll also take note of our arm, which is 12. So from here, we we'll mark it down, down, down. So this is 12. So this is 12. You can actually use six and a half. You can remove the excess. Now, at this part here, the wrist. Now, the round sleeve, this is the round sleeve. This is the round sleeve. This round sleeve at the wrist point is seven. That is three and a half. Half inch to join, half inch for pleating. Okay. Now, then the middle part is nine, which is four and a half. Then you add your half inch to join. Now, the upper part is 10, which is five. Then you add your half inch. So you now connect this point. So you now connect here, connecting this is so. So you cut from here. So this is how to form your. So we now use this to cut the second sleeve as well. So we use that to trace quickly trace our second sleeve. So let's quickly trace this. Okay, so we've cut now. Take note that in fixing your long sleeve, there is your left and there is your right sleeve. Unlike a short sleeve that you can use anyone, but in this case, you need to take note of the left now. You place the two good sides. How do you identify the left from the right? Place the two good sides together as shown. You place the two good sides. Then you now fold it into two as shown. Take the one to identify the left and the right. Take the fold them together. Now, you pick one, two. Pick one, two. Then, at the middle, they will put a slit. The depth of the slit should be at least three to four inch. Then, to your left, a notch to your right a notch take note that the depth of this slit should be three to four inch what we have here is three and a half so we are safe all right so now we we'll open we'll pick one now the good side facing you the good side facing you now take a look at the slit 
is it facing your right or is it facing your left? The good side now of your fabric facing this one part of the sleeve. The pleats that we did here, is it facing, is it towards your right or is it towards your left? If you take a look at this, it's towards this is center here, right? Is that my right? So this is my right sleeve. So you quickly indicate arrow. Now, automatically, the next one is your left. Now, take a look at this. The good side of your fabric facing you. This is the middle, right? Now, take a look at the pleat. Is it at your left or is it at your right? Automatically, is at my left. So you quickly indicate L. Now, you also need to take note that the placket to D, the two placket to D, it has your left and also your right. Take note, the two placket to D. So you also indicate. So I'll quickly cut this. Now, this is the placket. This is the wrong side facing me, so I'll quickly cut this a little. The reason why we are removing this part so that it shouldn't be showing at the down part after the pleat. Take note, after the slit. Now, the next thing to this, the good side. Okay, so we are through with that. Now, let's quickly fix as placket to the sleeve. Now, this, this one, these are left sleeve. So what to do, I do the same thing for the right part. So now, there are various ways of doing this. Now the smaller part, this is smaller part, will double, remember there is a notch, so we'll double fold, you're double folding, then you're not top stitch. Take note, you double fold, and you're not top stitch. This is smaller part, so you double fold, and you top stitch. Okay, so we are through with the double fold, and you double fold, and you sew. Now we now want to fix this, remember we said, that you also need to, you also need to identify your left and your right sleeve placket. Now, this is a good side. This point we did is facing your right. Why the part where you place your paper gum is facing your left. So this is your left. So we are sewing this. Take note. This is the wrong side of your sleeve. The wrong side. So you are sewing this. You are sewing this to this part. Just the same way you fix your normal placket. So you stop at the notch point, stop at the notch point, then you now turn this to the good side of your sleeve, you now turn this to the good side, just the same way you fixed your placket, so you now top stitch, now top stitch, you're fixing our placket, so you do the same thing for the second one, now you fold these edges, fold the edges, fold these edges as you can see, then you sew this way, sew this way, then when you get to the notch point, you stop, then you come this way, you cross this way, just make a Z there, then you X. So this is how, so you do the same thing for the second sleeve. So this is how to fix your placket to your sleeve. So we now have the two fixed. So the next thing is to fix this sleeve to the body, then we join the body and fix our bishop collar. So I'll quickly put a notch here to indicate the middle. I'll be showing us how to fix the sleeve. Now, remember, this is one of the sleeve, the right part of your sleeve, which we already identified. You put a notch here. Now, you come to your top. Remember, there's also a notch at the shoulder point. So notch to notch, so notch to notch. So we now join half in, take no notch to notch. As you can see, notch to notch. So from that center, we are joining half in. Remember, we added half inch to the sleeve and half inch to the shoulder. So we are joining half inch down, down. Take no, maintaining half inch down to the end. When you're through with one part, you join from the second part of the sleeve as well down to the end. Please take note that the sleeve is good side to good side. You're facing good side to good side. Good side of your sleeve to the good side of your top. So when you're through with this, you now weave round. So when you're through fixing this, you now weave round, then we now join. So we are through with the weaving. We now want to join now. Now take note that the down part is seven. This is the sleeve we are joining now. The wrist point is nine, that is four and a half. Then the upper part is 10, which is 5. So you need to take note of all your measurements. So you're taking this down, sewing this down, down, 
today. So we are stopping. We are stopping here for our guys. We have the slits. So we'll do the same thing for the second part as well. You see, take note of your measurement: seven, nine, ten. That is three and a half. Remember, this part of doing the slits. So four and a half, then five. Now, when you get to the chest point, you take note of your chest measurement. The chest of this person is 25, so that is 12. 25 is 12 and a half, so you are safe. So you're taking this down, down. Not true with that. We now want to fix our cuff. So this is one part of the sleeve, this is one sleeve. So we we'll use this to fix. So now, you start from the this is the wrong side open and you place this. Remember, we left half inch to fix. So we'll place this at the wrong side, starting from here. So we'll sew. So I will sew. I don't know. You sew. Remember, you're fixing the cuff. So you stop there. Then. Now continue from the side of the placket. Now continue from the side of the placket. Continue from the side of the placket. Then you now sew. Then when you're sewing, you notice the excess. Remember, I added half inch, so that is the pleat. So you now fold this towards the placket. Take note. By the time we sew, now you notice the excess there, which is the half. So we we'll fold it towards this thing. So we will sew this. So you notice, yes, as you can see, there is an excess there, the half inch excess. So you bend this towards the placket, bend that towards the placket, and you continue your sewing to meet up to the other one. Okay, so now you see the pleat there. So now we now cover this. Now we we'll fix just one part alone. So we now cover this, so we now close this. To fix so this is how to fix your cuff so we we'll sew this round so we are sewing this round so we are sewing this round so this is how to fix your cuff to your sleeve so you do the same thing for the second sleeve as well okay so we are through fixing the cuff this is the cuff to the sleeve now, the next thing for us to do is to fold the down part, just to fold it down. So, remember, we we'll stop there. So, this is the down part. So, you're folding this. So, you open this and you fold this and you sew round. So, you're sewing this round. So, let's do that now. So, I'm trying to fold it down half inch all through. This is the down part. So, you're folding this. So, you just fold. Do this carefully, technically, so just fold this. So you fold this round. This is the front part. Remember, this front part, uh, you you lose the stitch. You lose it and continue your folding. So I've done that already. So, okay, so we are through with the folding of the down part. So you can see we are through folding. Now this front part, you lose this stitch. Take note, you lose it. Remember, we did with the loose stitch. You lose it to the yoke point, so you lose that. So you have that there. So you remove all the thread there. Now, so we're almost through. We're almost through. Now the next thing for us to do is to fix our bishop collar. So to do that, you get your paper gum stain. You fold it into two fold it into two then we we'll make a curve as shown make a curve as shown like this now the width of the width of this curved for the bishop collar we are using one inches take we're using one inch all right that is the width make sure it is curved as shown so we'll double this so quickly cut another one quickly cut another one so now the length, remember the neck we're working with, neck 12, so this should be more than 12. There are various ways of fixing this. So, okay. All 
right? So, so I have this. So, okay. So you get this and you place at the wrong side of your fabric. Then you iron this down. So you iron this down. Okay, when you're through gumming this, remember you're doubling this, you're doubling your paper gum. So we're using a strong paper gum stay. So you double it. So you now fold these edges. So you just fold these edges and you iron this down. When you're through ironing, you go and sew. When you're through ironing, you now sew this down or you get to hem me gum and gum this. Okay, when you're through sewing, which you've done, or you gum. You now get your second fabric that you want to use and you place this as shown, leaving at least enough allowance at the top part. This is the folded part, right? So we now sew at this edge here. We now sew at this edge. So let's do that now. We are sewing the damp part. So sew the damp part. So we now turn this. So you cut off this damp part, you cut it off. Then you now turn this, turn this, so now iron this neatly, so iron this neatly, so iron this neatly. Okay, so when you're through with that turn, you now cut off, leaving at least a quarter inch, we are leaving a quarter inch, we use a quarter inch to sew each round. So we'll leave a quarter inch. So we'll now get the middle of this. So we'll get the middle of this, we're fixing a notch there. So we're leaving a quarter inch. So we we'll use this a quarter inch to sew right. So we'll now go to your Etsy ball. This is your Etsy ball. Now remember, there's a center there. So you're starting from this center. There are various methods of doing this. Starting, this is it. This part here. Starting from this center, you sew the quarter inch to this part. So let's do that now. I'm sewing the. I'm sewing the quarter inch round. I'm sewing this round. Sewing this round. So we'll stop here. We'll stop there. Now you continue from the second part. Remember, we started from the notch point at the middle. So we'll sew this other part too. I'm sewing this down to the other part mm -hmm. as well. Okay, when you're through sewing, now, this is the edge, this is the mouth, now, we want to close this. Now, if you take a look at your Etsy ball, you either notice the edge in this format, the edge in this format, or you notice this format, a kind of square, like this. So, whichever one you want, either this shape or this shape, whichever one you want. In this case, I'll be using the straight one. Now, this is, I've done the first sewing, so I'll take this to the back, take this to the back, and sew the straight line. If you want the curved part, you sew and curve it this way, right? You sew from here and curve it this way. But in this case, I'm doing just the straight. I prefer using the straight one. So at this edge, I'm taking, I'm folding this to the back. You're folding this to the back. Then you're sewing a straight line. This is the bigger placket aspect. This is the bigger placket. So we are sewing a straight line. So you cut off the excess, cut off the excess, right? Then you now turn this back. So you now have that here. So you get anything that is sharp there. To so you have this, right? So you do the same thing for the other part as well. When you're through, you now top stitch. Remember, you top stitch. So you're top stitching this to the ending part. So this is how to fix. So we top stitch this to the ending part. So we're closing the bishop collar now. We're closing the bishop collar now. Closing the bishop collar now. Okay, so we are this day we're through fixing our bishop collar. So this is our bishop collar, right? So we're through with our work. So you iron everywhere neatly. So you make sure you iron everywhere neatly. Now, you want a single stud. If you want a single stud, you go to where they make bottles and you do your button holes here. So you fix your single stud at this point, right? Now, if you want a three stud, that is one, 
two, three. You ask them to make three button holes. You also make button holes at the cuff point. This is the cuff. Make button holes here. Make sure you remove all the threads. You iron everywhere neatly. Then this is the point where you place your your pocket filler, your pocket square at this point. I'll show you quickly. So this is where you fix this, right? Looks beautiful. So this is where you place your pocket filler, right? So once again, you're watching PJ Collection Clothing online class on how to make an Etsy ball.